I see the strength, the history, the tradition of the Teamsters, and how well they represent labor groups in all fields, including airline employees. So that's one of the main reasons I go on this campaign, to get a change. We've been needed in American Airlines for a long time. I look forward with much anticipation to uh, our election, our winning this campaign, and having the top professional representation that we need and deserve at American Airlines, and that's the International Brotherhood of Teachers. It's my honor and privilege tonight uh, to be able to introduce to you our guest speaker, uh, the International Brotherhood of Teamsters General President, James P. Hopper. All these crazy things going on in this country right now. And the one thing that's going on is things against workers. People that work hard every day that want a fair piece of the pie. That's all you want. And, and you want to be able to work hard, you want to have health care, you want to have a pension when it's over with. And that's what they want to take away. And they're doing it through bankruptcy, they're doing it through right to work, they're doing it through everything else that you see in this country right now. And the battle is the same battle here at American Airlines. Uh, and there couldn't be a better time for us to be here than right now. Because what's going on? Number one, we got the merger. Uh, we've got US Air, where we're going out and organizing right now, and they're going to merge with American Airlines. So we have, we're the only union that's at both places organizing. We've got a big organizing campaign at both places. So when it's all over, we're going to have one strong union to take yeah. out yeah. each son of a bitch. Yeah. We need a big union. You know, you got this other union that's there right now. You know, I don't know. You want to be in a street fight. I want some big, strong guy with me. Yeah. And I don't want some puny little guy that's about this tall. I mean, we want, we got to go in and kick ass. That's what we got to do. We need a big, strong union, and you deserve a big, strong union. We are a big, strong union. At United Airlines and Continental, you know, we had the mechanics at both places. And, of course, they merged. Very similar to what's going on here. And we had the mechanics at both places, and guess what? We were able to put that together. That's what we want to do here. So it's not about us blowing smoke and saying, oh, we're going to do this. We've done it already. We've done it already, and that's the example you need to say. And this mentality out here that workers don't count. And we just got to be able to, you got to do it on your own. Good, good luck. You know, I always say when we campaign, I say, well, how much power do you have individually? You don't have any power individually. You know, nobody has any power individually. <clears throat> but when we get together, and we get together in a group like this, and we get together thousands of people with one union, that's what I call power. That's what we need to make sure we deliver and make sure we make it. The new American Airlines is truly a workers' American Airlines. And that's what I'm dedicated to. And we've done it. We've done it with United. We've done it with, with Continental. And we can do it here. So we're not just blowing smoke. We have a track record. We just, so it's a complicated thing. But you know what? It starts with you. And it starts with you, and it starts with, what am I going to do? What's my future going to be like? You know, we're going to have this new airlines. Oh, it's going to be U.S. Air. It's going to be America. It's going to be the largest one in the world. Oh, okay. Where do I fit into that? You got to say, what, what, what does that mean for us? You know, our, you saw what they tried to go into bankruptcy. They tried to get rid of your pension. Trying to get rid of everything. Trying to get rid of you. So we got to get ready for when that happens. And you want somebody like me and our big union to walk in there with some muscle to walk in and say you're not messing with the American Airlines people. <laughs> you're not moving people around. You're not moving it to El Salvador or wherever else they want to send it. You're not sending it to China to fix the airplanes. That's the position we took with United. And it worked. They, they don't like us, but they respect our power. It's not about whether they like us or not. They don't like us. They wish we weren't even there. But the answer is, we got the power and the respect they got to talk to us. And that's the most important thing. So we got to basically figure out, you know, we, you know it's the old story, we're in, the, in an alley. Who do you want to be in an alley with? We better be with the teams because we know how to fight. We did it in Charlotte. I found it very interesting. They talked about all the different things that we're doing. And, and people get up and tell stories about you know, we had U.S. Air guys get up, and they were telling stories about, they've got the machinists now, they were telling stories about grievances ripped up, 
grievance was expiring, nothing ever happened. You know, if you were a steward, they threw you out if you were with the teamsters. I mean, they were just telling stories that were so unbelievable that they were so damn mad they wanted to be teamsters. You know, that's what we want. But they're just we're telling one story after another. I bet we got the same thing here. The same thing story about what you've endured. The fact that you've gone backwards and we've lost thousands of jobs, that they're closing facilities <laughs> left and right. You know, to them, smaller and smaller, and you working harder and harder for less and less, that's what they like. That's the whole idea. Work harder, be lucky you have a job. I hate when they say that. Be lucky you have a job. <laughs> Who the hell they think we are? Who made this company? You made this company. And who's going to keep it strong? Keep the airline pilots and keep everybody safe up in the air. It's the mechanics. It all starts with you. Because if you're not here, those planes don't fly. <laughs>